Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. You're very welcome to the programme. And we're continuing here in the Ulster American Folk Park near Oma. And what you're looking at here is the Campbell House. This is the ancestral family home of the Campbells from Plumbridge in County Tyrone. And it was built in 1786 by Hugh Campbell and two of his sons, Hugh and Robert, emigrated to America around 1818. And Robert would become a famous uh, fur trapper, a successful businessman, and a close friend, actually, of the US President, Ulysses S. Grant. So, uh, it's great that there's living history here. There's workers here dressed up in period costume. And uh, it's a brave size, the, the park. Of course, the, the park grew up around the Mellon House. So this is the Argyles, um, because they were related to the Argyles of Scotland. And it says, Most Noble Duke of Argyle. And of course, Archibald Campbell was the ninth Earl of Argyle. And he took part in the Mammoth Rebellion in 1685. And he was actually executed for that. And then this one says, Hugh Campbell, Year of Our Lord, 1786. And of course, it was Hugh who built this house. This house was actually due for demolition when the Folk Park rescued it and brought it from Plumbridge to here. So you can see that, Hugh Campbell. So amazing that they have a, a connection with the Earls of Argyll. And of course, Archibald Campbell, the ninth Earl of Argyll, his son, also called Archibald, who was the tenth Earl of Argyll, he was created the Duke of Argyll because of his support for William of Orange. That's William the Third. So William actually granted him that title of uh, First Duke of Argyll. So we'll have a wee look in here. Fantastic, isn't it? There's one of the old beams. Love them old beams. They're, they're fantastic. That's what they used, obviously, for holding the ceiling up. Because it's two-storey, this house, don't forget. Now, then, his son, the 10th Earl's son, he was called John Campbell. And he was created then the second Duke of Argyle. And he was actually rewarded with other titles for his support for the Act of Union. And in 1715, he led the government army against the Jacobites. So a big connection here with the Earls of Argyle, the Dukes of Argyle, and the Campbell family here. This is quite a substantial house, as you can see. So take a wee walk upstairs here and let you see what's up, up top. Just have to take these stairs slowly. You can see the whitewash. That's the chimney. Not a bad view from up here. That's the attic, but it's blacked off, so you can't see in. I can only see my reflection. So we're going to have a look at one of the bedrooms here. Now you can see a four poster bed. That's a wee cut. This cupboard here would remind you of C.S. Lewis and his wardrobe.
And if you're wondering what that's for, that's actually a water bottle. That it warms your bed. Put that in to your bed hot before you go to bed. And when you get in, your bed's nice and toasty. And if you're wondering what that is, that's not a coffee cup. That's uh, for going to the loo in. <laughs> when you're, you need to go when you get out of bed. <laughs> I have to say the ladies in, in the park here were absolutely fantastic. So they were the the uh, girls who were dressed up, um, brilliant. They, they really uh, made me feel at home, and they took part, um, which was fantastic. Of course, I can remember coming here when I was at school on visits. I have no idea where you look out this window. So there you go folks, big connection here with William of Orange and the Campbells. Thanks for watching and God bless.